Howdy folks and welcome back to Far Cry 5 with the Mighty Jingles. Before we go any further I should caution you, massive storyline spoilers ahead so if you care about playing through the single player campaign in Far Cry 5 yourself and you don't want to spoil what's coming up you should probably go and watch something else instead. So you have been warned. Meanwhile we've just arrived in the Henbane River region of Hope County, Montana having successfully dealt as far as we're aware, having successfully dealt ooh, spoilers, <laughs> with Jacob's Seed in the Whitetail Mountain region, and despite some massive and potentially game-breaking bugs, John Seed in the Holland Valley region. So now it's the turn of Faith Seed here in the Henbane River. When it comes to bending the population to the will of the Seed family, Faith takes a slightly different approach to that of her now deceased brothers, Jacob and John. Jacob in the Whitetail Mountains used brutal training and brainwashing techniques to form a hardened militia and turn select members of the resistance against their friends. John Seed in the Holland Valley region used brutally effective techniques to convert the unwilling to his religion. Faith is all about the happy, clappy, hippy, trippy, peace and love, why can't we all just get along mantra. Assisted by the forced consumption of copious amounts of hallucinogenic drugs. Don't worry, we're going to meet Faith soon. But first, there's a familiar face that we need to hook up with. Here at the Hope County Jail. Conveniently located in the Hemlake River. Hello? Is anyone out there? This is Virgil Minkler at the Hope County Jail. I repeat, we need help. The Peggies are trying to break down the gate. If there's anyone nearby, hurry! I don't know how much longer we have. Got a man down. I need a oh, medic. Guns jammed. Rook? I need more ammo. You really saved our bacon. They've been throwing themselves at these walls for days. Just won't let up. They already kicked open a hornet's nest. Trucks on the road! Damn it! Brooke, I need you up on that wall! Sheriff Whitehorse, long time no see. I was wondering when I was going to run to him again. Have you noticed the significance of his name, by the way? Sheriff Whitehorse. The Book of Revelations, chapter 6, verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. So Sheriff Whitehorse is dead, and hell will follow with him. That must be me. <laughs> wow, I'm flattered. They're at the west wall. They're coming your way. West wall. West wall. Well, that's not a lot of help. It's not like I've got a compass, is it? I guess I'm just following the red dots. In case it wasn't immediately obvious, the Hope County Jail is the center of resistance operations here in the Hembane River region. Kill some of these pennies first. Any more? Oh yeah, there's some more. How the hell did they get over the walls? Do I have to do everything myself around here? Alright. I really do love the M60 in this game. Oh, you know, once you've added a couple of upgrades to it. Ooh. Shit. I noticed you got caught in the crossfire there. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got you. Oh, crap. What? Okay. And stay down. Where's this field truck? That that's not it. Stop that truck, it's headed for the gate! What truck? What are you talking about? Oh that truck. Alright, oh, okay. Got it. Is that it? Are we done? Can I go now? Yeah, we're done. Alright. Alright, let's see what's going on at the Hope County Jail. Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Well, you're with me. 
Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop too! We ain't got much time! No problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. He'll be all right. Just keep pressure on him. You know, I was gonna retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. No, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Ah, uh, this is Virgil. He used to be the mayor. Well, technically, I suppose he still is, but nobody's listening to him anymore. Okay, then. Yeah, keep walking, Virgil. I never thought of myself... Gonna be honest, video. never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I... I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there. Swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars. They're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? A lot of bears around. The sheriff isn't the only member of the original arrest posse that attempted to bring in Joseph Seed right at the beginning of the game. That scumbag US Marshal who left us hanging high and dry in the crashed helo. He's around here somewhere as well. And we're going to be meeting him sooner rather than later too because our activities thus far in the Henbane River region have attracted the attention of Faith for the first and not the last time. stories about me that I'm a liar a manipulator <laughs> that I poison people's minds well let me tell you a different story a true story Once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. 
father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given purpose. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. She would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. Ah, martial scumbag. There you are. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. You have got to be kidding. Walk the path. Okay. So that just happened. Or did it? You must have faith. Let go. Show your faith and jump. Yeah, I don't think so. Let your faith be your guide. Leap. Accept the word of the Father into your heart. Uh uh. Do I actually have a choice here? Given how this game's played out up until this point, I doubt that I do actually have a choice. But what happens if you just refuse to jump? Let your faith be your guide. Leap. Accept the word of the Father into your heart. No. I have to jump, don't I? I'm going to be sitting here until Judgment Day if I don't jump. <sighs> oh, Ubisoft. It's not that the game doesn't give you a choice, it's just that the choice is either stand here all day listening to Faith telling you to jump, or fuck it. So, that's Faith Seed. She's uh, somewhat different to her brothers. Not too sure about all of the other people that took the leap of faith and weren't judged worthy, but did that really happen? I mean, if it didn't, how did I get here? Either way, that was one hell of a trip, pun intended. Because that is a long way down. Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest, but we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon. Not if I see you first, you crazy hippie bastard. Right, so. What's next? Actually, you know, it's quite ironic, because according to Arnold Judas Rimmer, Jesus himself was a hippie. Well, think about it, he fits the stereotype. He had a beard, wore sandals, and didn't have a job. Who knows, maybe Faith actually has something. Yeah, probably not. Shortly afterwards, while cleaning up the Henbane River region, I had a deeply traumatic experience. I met a spectre from the past that I'd hoped to put behind me. Whatever you say, man. Wait a minute, the last time I heard that voice I took a hot rocket launcher enema up the ass from behind. Oh no. No, 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 no. Herc Drubman Jr. here? In the... No, fuck that shit. <laughs> I ain't touching that with a ten foot barge pole. I ain't staying within a country mile of that rocket launcher totem hillbilly. Faith can keep the Henbane River. <laughs> it's not worth the trouble. Not with that guy around. I have to admit, I did feel that the Henbane River region of Hope County was... It was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. There are a couple of reasons for that, and most of them are my own fault. 
you're supposed to actually do the Holland Valley first, then the Henbane River, then the Whitetail Mountains. So that's the increasing order of difficulty. Now, you probably have to give the game credit that it at least doesn't force you down that path. You're free to tackle the three different regions in any order that you choose. I actually went for the Whitetail Mountains first, purely and simply because I thought that Jacob Seed's story uh, was more interesting and a lot more clever than that of John Seed or Faith. So I did what's technically the hardest area first. So by the time I eventually made it here to confront Faith, I'd already cleared out the other two regions. And in doing so, I'd amassed a considerable amount of cash, perks, and weapon upgrades that made combat much more simple. But most significantly, I had access to this helicopter gunship. And knocking over a cult outpost from the air is significantly easier than doing it on foot. If you were trying to do something like this in Ghost Recon Wildlands, for example, well, you could just forget it. Not least of which because the helicopters are significantly harder to control in Ghost Recon Wildlands, even after they upgraded the air controls. But also, an outpost like this would be ringed with surface-to-air missile launchers, and even in a dedicated gunship, this would just be impossible. I suppose in Ghost Recon Wildlands that does make perfect sense. Well, not the dodgy helicopter controls, but the fact that you are, in that game, going up against, well, either drug cartels who have more money than God, or government-funded, trained and equipped paramilitary forces. So the idea that they do actually have the cash to spend on surface-to-air missile launchers isn't completely out of the question. Here in Hope County, of course, you're basically going up against hillbillies armed with assault rifles and shotguns. I think surface-to-air missile launchers are slightly above their pay grade. We haven't liberated this outpost yet, though. There's still somebody kicking around here. Although they don't seem too upset by the fact that I've just machine-gunned all of their friends from the air and just loot the cash register. There's definitely at least one more cultist. Wait. There he is. Down. Outpost still not liberated. Wait. No, he's not down. Okay, now he is. Outpost liberated. Of course that, as well as everything else that I've been doing since I arrived in the Henbane River region, has only just managed to piss Faith off even more. And she does turn up in the weirdest places. But she seems to be taking it remarkably well, all things considered. <laughs> so glad you came. Oh, not this happy, clappy, hippy, trippy shit again. I warn you, woman, I'm a Republican. Get your commie ass back to Canada where you came from. You've been invited into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Get thee behind me with your liberal democrat ways, woman. Wait, does that rabbit have antlers? Oh, this is some weird shit. And what's with all the butterflies? Oh wait, there she is. I see you, Jezebel. What's she going to try to tempt me with this time? You can't tempt me, woman. I'm a member of the NRA. Even those who fight against us seek salvation. We are proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside We'll see what we have built here together in our new Eden. Love. And they will come. And they will try to take from us all that we have built. They judge me. They judge us. The things that we have done. People say that I'm crazy. Major story spoilers this of the sequence, by the way, I'm just children. saying. Communities being torn apart. Walls being 
you know, for those of you who don't actually know by now how the game ends. Or can it? Bullies are too adult to lead righteous. Because there are two separate endings for this game. Which is the reason why I'm playing through it twice. I did not ask for this. So you can see them both. I was chosen. See, everything is coming to an end. You can feel that. I know you can. See, mankind is weak and vulnerable. And we are hurtling towards our destruction, and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? And I claim to be a perfect man. I saw what was coming, and I chose to act, to lead, because society is broken. And the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were. Innocent and pure, so safe and protected in our garden. I can save you. You see, this is the question that should be in the back of your mind all the way through Far Cry 5. Joseph Seed is clearly a nutcase, right? But what if, just maybe, he is the... Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. A couple didn't make it back. Boys anybody, said... Anybody grab her? Uh, Grady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell is Grady? <sighs> ah, Jesus. No, you just... You just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> you come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. Project Eden's Gate are just another apocalyptic, doomsday, end-of-the-world cult. There's always somebody prophesizing the end of the world. There always has been, whether it's fire, flood, plague, thermonuclear apocalypse, the rapture, alien invasion, whatever the flavor of the month happens to be, and every single one of them has been wrong. Project Eden's Gate are no different. Right? Well, one way or another, we're definitely going to find out, because there's just Faith left standing between us and Joseph Seed. And one way or another, there is going to be a showdown. All of that to come in a future episode of Far Cry 5 with the mighty jingles, because that's pretty much all I have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.